Hey, this is Heather from the Renaissance English History Podcast, and this is your Tudor Minute for January the 20th. Today, in 1558, Mary I's fifth parliament opened, and one of its first points of business was to grant subsidies to Mary to make up for the loss of Calais. Calais, which, though French, had been controlled by England since 1346, had fallen two weeks before on January the 8th. They say that when Mary died, Later on that year, she said that they would find Calais imprinted on her heart. Today, we're also marking the death of Miles Coverdale in 1569. He was the Bishop of Exeter, almoner to Catherine Parr, and translator of the Bible. He studied at Cambridge. By the 1520s, he was in Antwerp with fellow translator William Tyndale. In 1537, Thomas Cromwell asked him to work on a translation that was based off of the work of both Coverdale and Tyndale, and have it printed in Paris, but there was trouble with the Inquisition and the printers had to leave in a hurry, though they had some copies saved. And in 1539, 6,000 copies were printed, meaning that each church in England could have their very own copy of the Great Bible in English. Coverdale left England as the Conservatives at court became more prominent. He came back during the reign of Edward VI when he was almoner to the Dowager Queen Catherine Parr. He fled eventually to Geneva during Mary's reign, coming back under Elizabeth in 1559. That's your Tudor Minute for today. Remember, you can dive deeper into life in 16th century England through the Renaissance English History Podcast at englandcast.com, where there is a whole series on the English Reformation.